What's up you guys? Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Today, as promised, I'm gonna be doing a restoration. So as you guys can see by the shots I took before and I'm showing you guys right now, these shoes are completely cooked. Like, it looks like they came out of a garbage disposal. Like, look at this. I think, I think this guy painted in his shoes or something. As you guys can see, there's like orange right here. But you guys know, as on infrareds, there's no orange at all on the shoe. But anyways, look at how choked up the shoe is. The laces are absolutely beat. I'm gonna be seeing what I can do with those. And yeah, so first thing we're gonna do is lace these shoes. All right, so now that we got the laces off, we're gonna be giving the shoe a good deep clean. Um, right now, I don't have my shoe trees, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna just stuff the toe box with some socks. All right, so now let's get into the deep clean. I'm gonna be using some crep, and then after that, some Angelus Easy Cleaner. But anyways, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so as you guys can see, between the two shoes, the right one is cleaner. Alright, so I'm going to be leaving this shoe alone, just so you guys can see a side-by-side -side comparison once we're done. So, anyways, let's get, um, what we're going to do now is we can take the gloves off. Um, I just didn't want to, like, touch all the nastiness, so... Now that it's cleaned, take the gloves off. And what we're gonna be doing is taping off the uppers, taping off the midsole so we can strip this um, this paint. So you guys can see it's all cracked up. Got cracked right here. This yellow stain, I don't know what that is, probably paint. But yeah, so tape off the, the bottoms, the uppers, and so we can get to stripping. All right, so. I pretty much gave up on taping the uppers just because I don't know why the tape wouldn't stick. But this is Angel this is paint from Angelus. So it is good tape, but I just don't know why it wasn't sticking to the material. I think the um this paint on top is too brittle. So anyways, I'm gonna be painting the entire uppers so I don't see a, a problem. But anyways, what we're gonna be using is Angelus leather prepare and deglazer and some cotton balls. So just go ahead and open that up and grab your cotton balls shake and then just go ahead and start rubbing. I just like the sound. So guys, I decided not to paint it just cuz I um trust my handwork, my free handwork. So I'm gonna be painting over everything just to cover up that infrared and then apply the Angelus Collector's Edition infrared. So all I'm gonna be using is using the tray, the painter's tray, which you can pick up at angelusdirect.com. I'll leave a link to their website in the description.
All right, guys. So I finished taping up. To, I finished painting the midsole. It took about uh, six coats. I did use a heat gun, so the drying. I could speed up the drying process, but as you guys can see, I taped up. I taped off what I'm gonna be painting in Fred off camera. I'm not gonna be painting this, obviously, but I got enough tape right here. But yeah, so let's go ahead and lay down the infrared. All right, so as you guys can see, I have the paint laid down. It took me about, um, I say five coats. Yeah, five coats, but it is really, it is looking really good. It is looking kind of flat, but when I add the finisher, it will look good. So now I'm gonna peel off the tape, see how it's looking. All right, so now what I'm gonna go back and do is touch it, touch it up, like these areas right here, right here. I'm gonna just go back and touch it up. All right, so as you guys can see, I finished um, cleaning up the midsoles. They look good now. And what I'm gonna be using now is the Angelus matte acrylic finisher i'm going to be using my big brush from angelus to apply it so All right, so now that we've applied this, go ahead and let it air dry. Don't use a heat gun to speed up the process. Don't touch it so you don't leave fingerprints. But anyways, um, yeah, just go ahead and clean off your brush because this thing does dry really quick. And then we're gonna be doing the uppers. All right, so now that the midsoles are dried, we're just gonna mask, mask them off um, using our painter's tape.
All right, so now that we've pretty much stripped as much as factory um, finish as we could, we're just gonna, um, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but the threading is kind of like black. So all we're gonna do is use some Angelus Too Soft mixed with some Angelus Flat White Paint. We're gonna be putting that in our mixing jar and mixing it up using our heat gun to um, get the, the threading white, but it won't have the effect as if I just painted over it with normal paint. It'll be looking just like thread. All right, so as you guys can see, you got my too soft, got my paint. I just had to get my heat gun real quick. But anyways, yeah, so got my, we're gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio, so I'm halfway paint, halfway. Well, actually we're gonna, we're just gonna fill it up a little cause we're only doing the thread. So we're gonna do like a fourth paint and a fourth too thin and then mix it up. I mean, too soft. So now for the tenor jar, we can go ahead and shake it up. All right, so as you guys can see, this is our mixture right here. We're just gonna do like maybe one to two coats onto the threading. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna hit this part and work down. So I'm gonna be using um this brush and yeah so we're just gonna do some light coats hit it with the heat gun move on to the next part All right, as you guys can see, the threading is all finished painted up. The shoe is looking good. Has some minor creases right here on the ankles. But yeah, the shoe is looking good. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove this tape. But as you guys can see, the shoe is looking a lot better. Let me do a side-by-side -side comparison of the other one. As you guys can see, the one on the right is looking a lot better. <sighs> and this is without the paint. So, yeah, let's get to the paint. So like I said, I'm gonna be icing out the soles by the way, if you guys are wondering that, I'm pretty sure you guys have been looking at these soles since the beginning of the video, since they're so yellow. They're almost gr a green color, but yeah, so. What I'm gonna be using is my Angelus flat white. And when I finish up the coat, I'm gonna be doing um, acrylic matte acrylic finisher. So like I said, go make sure that it is taped off well around the infrared areas with this. So yeah. I, um, as you guys know, I already did um, I already stripped the factory finish off of it. Got my painting tray, my Angelus flat white. We're just gonna be touching it up. We're just gonna we're gonna start off just touching it up like these parts, these parts right here. Obviously the whole toe box. We're gonna do the whole toe box. Uh, these parts right here, and we're gonna see how it looks and see if we gonna need if we're gonna need to do a full painting on the uppers. But for the most part, let's hope it's just a touch up job. So yeah, let's get to it.
All right, guys, so I'm back. As you guys can see, um, I finished the paint. The shoe does look good now. Um, what I'm gonna be doing now is using my big brush and my matte acrylic finisher so I can put the finish on top. I'm gonna be doing probably two to, maybe two to three light coats on this. Like I said, um, uh, let it let it dry. Don't um, like just let it air dry. Don't put heat a heat gun to it or just don't touch it, cause your fingerprints will end up in it and it'll get all streaky and yeah. So just this is the one thing that you do want to let dry. Like I was doing before, I was um doing the heat gun. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and take the tape off so you guys can see what it looks like. As you guys can see, the shoe is looking good. The shoe is looking pretty good. Looks a lot better than how it looked. You guys can see the tape was, the taping was clean, nice and crisp. No overpaint, no nothing down good that time so yeah now let's get to the finisher so just crack the angelus open all right so as you guys can see i put the um the finish on i will let this dry for about three minutes and i'll get back to you guys as soon as it's dry all right, what's up, you guys? Uh, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is unyellowing the soles. So, what we're gonna be using is Salon Care 40 and Saran Wrap. So, um, all you're gonna want is either a, a paintbrush or a toothbrush. I'm gonna be using an old paintbrush. As you right, guys can so, see, as you guys can see. Um, but yeah, that's big so, enough. So just go ahead. And I'm gonna just get these two to go and see if they're done here. And get a piece of plastic wrap big enough so, to fit. Like I said, shoot. Shake up the salon care. Go ahead, open it up. And use your paintbrush and dip it right in. You're gonna wanna do more of like light coats. Don't try to just like cake it on there because you think that it's gonna go faster. It's still gonna take a long time. It still is a process. So yeah, just as long as it's wet, like with the salon care, it should be good. All right, now that you're done, all you're gonna wanna do is lay it down. Um, go ahead and get this side. I should have cut it before, but. All right, so get the front and then fold it over. Oh wait, so yeah, something else. 
you can also do the rubber right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I, I'm, you guys are probably wondering why it was still that color. But yeah, you can just hit, you can apply it, make sure it doesn't get onto the paint. All right, so now we're gonna go outside. All right, as you guys can see, we're outside. It's a bit of direct sunlight. You're just gonna wanna go ahead and make sure it's secure and leave it here. Or, like, now, like I said, I'm just trying to make sure it's secure. Okay, so I'll be back in the car. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I did about three sessions. The first session was an hour, second session was an hour, and the third session was an hour and a half. And yeah, so there really wasn't much of a difference. I mean, these parts cleared up a little bit. I'm pretty sure if I would have done more sessions, I could have gotten a lot better results. But as you guys can see, I don't know, but if the camera picks it up, but there is a little difference. It did get a little better, but yeah. So this is the final product. As you guys can see, the shoes do look a lot better. Well, obviously this is before, this is after. So you guys can see, nice. And then all bad, insides, good. Yeah, so. If you guys enjoyed this video go ahead leave a like um if you guys want to send your shoes in so i can restore them or customize them go ahead and hit me um uh email me my email's in in the description depending on what you want is what's gonna depend the price so yeah thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you're new leave a like and i'm out